Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today we will talk about cell membrane. Cell membrane is present in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. It's thin, it's elastic and it's covering the cytoplasm. Ki tamam cells ke around maujood hoti hai. So what its function? Yes, it's semi-permeable. Semi means half. ये कुछ चीजों को अपने अंदर से गुजरने देती है और कुछ को नहीं गुजरने देती। It allows some particles to pass through in, while don't allow all particles to pass through in. So what will be the benefit? इसका फायदा क्या है? Its benefit is that cell will be able to maintain its functionality and all which is working inside the cell. Now, how it is made up of? A very common and a very good example to memorize cell membrane. You have to eat a sandwich. But why? Because it's all about like a sandwich. Let me tell you how. Cell membrane is made up of lipid bilayer. Iski upper wali layer or niche wali layer. This one and this one is made up of lipids. Bilayer means, bi means two. So these are the two layers of lipids. Now in these lipids, the lipids are of tail shaped, which are present inside. And these circles are basically phosphate groups. These lipids are non-polar. And they doesn't allow polar molecules to pass through in. Ye lipids non-polar hai, jiski wajah se ye polar molecules ko cell ke andar nahi aane dete. Small molecules can pass through easily. But the larger molecules like glucose need some assistance to pass through in. So basically lipid bilayer is embedded with proteins and carbohydrates. Now how it is embedded? You have to know like a sandwich. In sandwich we take two breads. So consider that the two breads are lipids. Aap isko yaad rakhne ke liye is tarah se soch sakte hain ki you are eating a sandwich aur us sandwich ki jo do breads hain basically wo dono breads behave kar rahi hain as a lipid. Now the thing which you put inside it and the salad which you put inside the sandwich is basically working as a protein or carbohydrates which are embedded in it. Bilkul waise hi bread ke upar jaise hum salad rakhte hain, kebab rakhte hain, all that is just like proteins and carbohydrates. Bilkul waise hi lipid ke upar proteins or carbohydrates lage hote hain, जैसे हम अपनी ब्रेड के ऊपर कबाब और सैलड रखते हैं। So in this way they work together. They all work in such a manner or in such a way that they allow some particles to pass through in and doesn't allow all particles. So they are semi-permeable. In this way, cell membrane maintains the internal composition of cell. Now, in addition to this vital role, membranes can also sense chemical messages and identify other cells. Ye chemical messages ko bhi receive karti hai. Isi liye cell membrane har cell ki girth maujood hoti hai. Chemical analysis reveals that cell membrane is mainly composed of proteins and lipids, while the smaller quantities of carbohydrates are also present. Now there is a name which is used for this type of a model and that is fluid mosaic model. This cell membrane ki structure ka name hai jo mostly MCQs mein paper mein aata hai. Fluid mosaic model. Now why it is termed as a fluid mosaic model? Yes, because the lipids are working in a flexible manner. So it's known as like a fluid mosaic 
like in a flowing manner. Now, according to this model, there is a lipid bilayer in which the protein molecules are embedded. Embedded means like we can say that जैसे हम कहते हैं कि इसी चीज के अंदर किसी और चीज का अच्छे से पेनिट्रेट हो जाना बिल्कुल वैसे ही प्रोटीन्स लिपिड्स के अंदर पेनिट्रेट हुए हुए हैं द लिपिड बायलियर गिव्स फ्लूडिटी एंड अलास्टिसिटी टू मेम्ब्रेन हमें पता है कि लिपिड लचकदार होते हैं और ये मेम्ब्रेन्स को अलास्टिसिटी प्रोवाइड करते हैं स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स आर ऑल्सो फाउंड एंड यू नो दैट कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन लिपिड बायलियर यस इन यूक्रियोटिक सेल वट डू यू थिंक कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एस और इट्स bad for health you have to give me the answer in the comment box but let me tell you cholesterol is very important for our body for our cells even our cells are not able to work without cholesterol but we need it in a very small amount excess amount is harmful for our body In eukaryotic cells, many organelles, mitochondria, chloroplasts, Golgi apparatus, and endoplasmic reticulum are also bounded by cell membranes. So this is basically the inner structure of cell membrane. The pink circles are phosphate groups. The curving lines are the lipids tails, which are joined with the phosphate groups. So these are the two layers. and these are the glycolipids glycoproteins and the big proteins which are embedded inside it just like a bread with the kebab and the salad and please remember the name the fluid mosaic model thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day